Hello dear customizator, today I am with one special guy, Mattia Lisičak, and he converted a legendary BMW E39 to electric powertrain. We have found each other over social media and we decided to meet. He also brought some battery models that we are going to use in our Project Mini, and if you want to check out Project Mini, you can click on the card at the end of this video. Uh, Mati also has a YouTube channel and if you want to find more details on this BMW build right behind us and his other projects you can also check it out right here. And now we can go into more details about his BMW E39 project. We are now inside the electric BMW and you can see the uh, amount of noise that it's producing. It's really terrible. Hello Mattia. So, can you tell us how did the idea of creating this BMW to electric happen? Uh, hello and thank you for inviting me. Uh, this was not the first car that I converted on Electro. The uh, first one was uh, uh, Opel Cadet, an old car that was back in uh, 2015. The car was old and it was not something special, so I was looking forward in which direction I will go. This was actually my dream car, especially yeah, it's, M5. It's a really beautiful car. Especially, I think it's uh, yes. the last of the 5 Series. I would say that it's really beautiful. The, the, the ones afterwards are really uh, <laughs> not so beautiful. So. Yeah, I really like this car also. Yes. Good choice. Yes, thank you. And really, after 25 years old, it's, it still looks stunning. And when it came out of the production line, uh, that was the love on the first sight. When did you start working on the project and uh, how long did it take to yeah. finish it? Uh, yes, I started uh, back in 2017. I bought the battery and then a couple of months uh, later, I bought the car. And then I bought the powertrain and the controller and this is how it started. I didn't start working on the car, I was collecting first uh, the yeah. parts. I started in 2017 and I finished the car in 2020. The car is now fully street legal, uh, it passed the technical inspection, so now it's right, uh, not the combustion engine, but electric uh, powertrain with 30 kilowatt of uh, nominal power. So you mentioned you had the... Uh... Tesla modules, so how many modules do you have and what are the, how many kilowatt hours that does the car have? Uh, the car has uh, 47 kilowatt hour, uh, that is 9 Tesla modules from S85. 3 modules are in front and the 6 modules are in the back, the back of the car. What about the charging? What kind of charger does it have? How fast can it charge? Now I have two chargers. One charger is 1.5 kilowatt. Uh, this is an automotive charger that I'm uh, using every day. I'm charging at day and at night because I have a solar power plant, so it's not matter anymore uh, in which, which time period I'm charging. And the second one is, uh, uh, it is working on second two phases. Uh, they are, I have uh, four uh, server power supplies, 30 amps and uh, uh, the power of the second charger that contains from four power supply is around 6.5 kilowatt. So the total charging can be up to 8.5 kilowatt. Okay, so how fast can you charge the car at the fastest charging speed? Uh, at the fastest charging speed is around between uh, five and six hours. Uh, what kind of motor and what kind of inverter do you have? Uh, I have the DC motor, it will be better AC, but back then uh, I didn't have any choice, so I yeah. took the Warp 11 and the Zilla Z1K 1000 amp controller. What about the cooling for the battery and the motor? Uh, motor has the air cooling, uh, the motor has his own uh, cooler but I put an extra one electric that uh, that is always on uh, and uh, the controller is water cooled. Do you have any maybe overheating issues if you push it too hard or something like that on the motor? Uh, no, uh, maybe if I will go on the racetrack it will be uh, uh, heating but for a normal drive and uh, the highway drive as well I don't have any problem with heating the motor is around 30 degrees uh, more than the environment temperature and controller is also the same uh, temperature about 25-30 degrees more than the environment and temperature. what about the battery? 
battery uh, I have all the hoses connected, but I still didn't uh, finish the cooling for the batteries. But uh, for the normal drive, there is no need to cool the batteries. That is why I didn't put an extra radiator for cooling the batteries. But uh, the plan is to put and uh, to put another extra charger of 6 kilowatts, so I will have around 13 kilowatts power of charging. Yeah, I suppose the biggest problem when you don't have a cooling on the battery modules is during the charging, during fast charging. So, yes, yes. Uh, you probably want to have the modules cooled yes. if you are on the road trip and you want to fast yes. charge. But uh, as you say, during the regular use, you actually don't need the cooling that much on the modules, which is quite interesting. Yes, yes. Uh, for normally drive, usually it's not needed. That is why I didn't finish this. But in the summer, when the car uh, is uh, on the on a hot air uh, every day, on directly on the sun, and if you are fast charging it, then it will be required. And especially when you are driving a highway speed, then the temperature goes uh, rises, increases. And how did you find the components uh, for the car? Did you buy anything new, or did you use used components? No, everything everything is uh, used, uh, and uh, got the batteries uh, from in England. Uh, the controller is, I think, in Canada. Uh, the motor I bought from my friend. And what kind of uh, BMS system does the car have? Uh, I use, I'm using Ziva BMS. This is uh, Australia, Australian production and it comes in the components. So you can dimension the, the system compared to your system. So if you have, you can use it from 24 volts to, uh, up to 400 volts. It's quite It is modular. Yeah. And finally, uh, what the range does the car have? Uh, range the maximum range per charging is around uh, 200 kilometers but open road with no hills and uh, not highway speed because uh, highway speed after uh, above 100 110 km per hour it's a lot of electricity do you know maybe uh, the acceleration times did you measure it uh, no I, I didn't measure acceleration time yet but uh, i find find no need about yeah. this because this is not the race car this is the street legal car that is that i'm using as an everyday car and i didn't measure it but i would like maybe I, top I, speed uh, <laughs> top speed is around uh, 170 180 kilometers per hour can you tell us is it uh, is it more comfortable during to the excess weight of the battery compared to the original BMW X39. The first original car has uh, around 1500 kilo and now it has uh, 1750 kilo yeah. and it, it feels that the car is a little bit heavier and, uh, and when I made the, 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 uh, the paper for an electric they took me two persons so the car legally can drive only three persons yeah, that's not five yeah this is interesting so the car yeah. can drive three persons officially well we are three persons here yes. so we are <laughs> we are doing everything legal <laughs> yes <laughs> i noticed that the modules in the back are in the rear compartment uh, so do you have any problems with the higher center of gravity maybe in the rear of the car no. have you noticed anything no, uh, the car the car is now exactly 50-50. The, the the range is 50-50. Maybe it's a couple of kilo uh, heavier at the back, but uh, there is no problem with that. Is there anything on this project that you would uh, change in the future? Maybe some component you bought and uh, now you, if you bought it again, you would do it differently. Let's say now, if I if I will do it again now, <laughs> I'm smarter now than I was before. Yes. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't be doing anything. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. But uh, for now, I will be using uh, uh, automotive parts, only automotive parts that you can find literally on the scrapyards. But for instance, not, not, not here in Croatia, but in Europe, uh, you have the scrapyards uh, of the electric uh, cars, so you can buy them a power train controller and uh, these components. Uh, these components are much more reliable and uh, 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 of course cheaper than the components that are uh, made for electric conversion. They have passed uh, the quality check, yeah. the high quality check, so the 
the automotive parts are really the best what you can get and at the best price. And what are your plans for, for the future? I saw you bought a BMW E30. Can you tell more? Tell, tell us more about it? Yes, I bought the E30, but uh, the car is in a very bad condition, so I will need to restore it. Do you have any plans about the power it will have? Is it going to be more uh, towards performance or more towards uh, range? Or it will be more towards performance. Yeah, and I, I will like be. That. <laughs> more performance. Yeah. No range. So maybe in the future, kilometer. more performance. More performance in the in the in the <laughs> in the E30. Yeah, I think it's the most important part uh, in building a, a performance car is uh, make a good balance. So yes, I think not not uh, not too much big range, but uh, make a nice balance between weight and uh, the yes. power. So it's uh, as close as possible to factory weight. Yes. I would say. I won't go with with uh, uh, too much battery because of it, as you said, uh, no more than 20 kilowatt hour. All the components will be water cooled. Yeah. Uh, the powertrain, controller, inverter, DC, DC, charger, everything is water cooled and yeah. for some serious application, water, water cooled is required. Yeah. Do you maybe have any idea of the power the motor will have and what this motor will, will you use? Uh, this what motor I will use will be a secret and then I, I will... <laughs> so you need <laughs> to subscribe to his channel. <laughs> yes, you need to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch the videos. That yeah, and also secret. subscribe to our channel because, yes, of course. you know, we need subscribers, we need yes. likes. Uh, yeah, I need to smile <laughs> and tell you to subscribe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, thank you Matija very much. I think that's about it. Uh, I hope you like this uh, little interview we had and our little uh, tea, party. Uh, tea, tea party. cups uh, like we are in England, but we are not. And stay customized. Mm. Bye. <laughs>